it's another edition of uh, automotive industry opining. One take Jake, this time from 14 year old David, at least according to my hair. I was just thinking, um, I've already done complaining about how in Apple Maps and iOS 15, well, Apple Maps generally, in CarPlay, that when you're just wandering, when you're in the mode that just shows the map, it does not show your, the current speed limit, which would literally be like, otherwise, that view is completely useless. <laughs> um, in order to show the speed limit on Apple Maps, you have to be on a route, which is fine, whatever. Um, but just a combination of technologies in software, both in software and uh, the automotive industry. First, we should acknowledge that in all likelihood, if you have a car built after 2015, well, I don't know, actually the year, but let's just, if you have a fairly modern car, it's very likely that your accelerator pedal is not actually connect, connected to the throttle body of the engine. It is instead just a software switch. Um, you give the software an input and it actually determines uh, how wide the throttle opens. So that, that by wire technology, this is also a step stone to auto autonomous driving. Um, so we've got that, okay. And we've got adaptive cruise control as like a standard fucking feature on the most pedestrian, the cheapest new cars. That cruise control being that thing that detects the car in front of you, how far away it is and maintains the distance. Um, and then we've got these map services that are that are more and more integrated with the infotainment systems. Uh, basically, it's either Google Maps or Apple Maps, but let's use Google Maps. Uh, not that I've used an infotainment system that uses Google Maps ever, aside from using CarPlay with the Google Maps app. Um, but I'm almost positive that in Google Maps, it has a fairly reliable indicator of what the speed limit is on the road that you're currently on. Um, and let's just, that one integration, let's pull that out of the infotainment system. Car, car companies are really, really hesitant to actually give any sort of, whoa, any sort of mechanical influence or control to the systems, um, the infotainment systems, which is, uh, convenient, notably because that would actually eventually result in the systems operating under additional legal obligations to shut off, basically. So that's nice. Um, but let's just break that barrier with the one API, the one little integration, and let's let Google Maps tell my car what the current speed limit is, okay? This is a thing that car companies have invested ridiculous amounts of money in, in doing themselves. It's a thing that's been around since the S class in the early 2000s. Sorry, Bear, you're gonna have to wait. I'm vlogging. <laughs> um, and so let's let Google Maps from my phone. Yes, from my fucking phone, if necessary, tell the car what the current speed limit is because um, I'm gonna, I'm, I, fucking hate Google, but I have a high confidence that whatever that indication is, it's very unlikely to be wrong. And let's take that with the electronic throttle and let me just tell my car, keep me within legal speeds, put a speed limiter on me that I can adjust. Maybe I can say plus nine miles per hour over the speed limit is how, that's how fast the car is allowed to go at any given time. And when it reaches that, it's not going to be an abrupt, Ugh! it's just, gonna stop accelerating. This is something that we have accomplished since the 60s with the, with cruise control, right? That would be a genuinely useful thing. And I, I should say that I'm not positive it's not already, it hasn't already been done in, um, well, the most likely culprit would be the Mercedes-Benz S-Class uh, at some point. But um, a simple thing, Imagine how nice that would be. And it's something that you could put turn off with a fucking button like the uh, auto start button that I have to, to hit every time I start up this car. Um, imagine that. And like, if I wanted to exceed the speed limit at any given time, I could just do something as simple as 
hitting the brake to disengage the cruise control, which is something you're already useful or used to. I'm. It would be something like briefly going full throttle. That would be my choice, but that's probably not what it would be. It, something like that. So that uh, there are situations in driving where it is unsafe to be speed limited. Um, that I'm glad that I, well, I think we can still acknowledge that legally, officially. Sorry, Bear. I, okay, I have to stop. Uh, Nitsa probably acknowledges that. Uh, like, darting out of a... You're about to be fucking um, pushed into a barrier by a semi that's merging into your lane and doesn't see that you're there, and you need to go... Like, your only option is to just accelerate, or at least your best option. Um, having something that you could... Like, where the car would fucking know. Like, if you're flooring it, it would fucking know to, you know... Uh, take exemption to that speed limit. But yeah, wouldn't that be nice? I'm just, I catch myself speeding so often in this modern car that has so much sensory information coming into it that I don't use. Um, hey, hit me up, actually, hit me up in the comments or wherever you know where to find me. If you use the lane keeping assist in your car, if you keep it on intentionally, if it's on and you don't know how to figure, you can't figure out how to turn it off legitimately, let me know. Give me the make and model of your car in the year. I'm not being condescending. I'll just, like, I can go find it, how to turn it off for you uh, if it can be done. But yeah, lane keeping assist is such an unnatural thing. See my Atlas review. Thank you.